Following his last contact with the Autobots, Starscream followed a signal and realized it was a trap upon landing, as he saw Bumblebee in a comatose state being experimented on by Mech. He concluded that Bumblebee would serve as a better victim than himself. Shortly after their stealing of his T-Cog, Starscream followed Mech to their base and laughed at them. As he walked in, he concluded the group did not learn much from their dissecting of breakdown before the rogue humans pointed their weapons at him. Silas told Starscream that the group learned enough to know where Decepticons' weak areas were. Starscream revealed to them that he was no longer affiliated with the Decepticons and claimed that if he were there to exact revenge, the group would be pleading for mercy. Following Silas's asking of why he was there, Starscream revealed he wanted to make an alliance with the humans and stated he and Mech had much more in common than they believed, even stating that he was not merely referring to their shared battle scars. As Silas asked what he could possibly gain from the alliance, Starscream concluded that he would gain inside knowledge. With his statement, Silas ordered Mech troops to drop their range on him and Starscream stated that he had made a wise choice. He explained that T-Cogs reject any power source, outside of Energon. He explained to Silas that Energon was the substance that flowed throughout all Cybertronians, regardless of their affiliation. His proposal continued with his statement of not having any means of acquiring it before giving MECH's homemade robot a sample of Energon. Starscream soon began to talk to Silas about Megatron, referring to the latter as a great strategist with a very small mind when it came to working with humans. However, Silas merely ignored his comments and Starscream brought up his killing of Autobot Cliffjumper to a mech soldier before the latter ran off. As he, Silas and the others glared at the Energon, Starscream identified it as such and noticed it was in its purest state. Starscream and Silas believed it was ready to be mined and processed, to give what he believed was an edge for the two. Starscream held Bumblebee's T-Cog hostage from the latter. While holding his removed organ, Starscream began to mock Bumblebee for not being able to transform, even referring to the latter as a failure as an Autobot. After blasting Bumblebee's T-Cog, Starscream mocked him one last time and retreated to Silas, whom he claimed to that the T-Cog was destroyed in the battle and assured to that they would retrieve another from the Autobots. However, Silas refused to wait and instead had his mech soldiers take Starscream's, 